Hello, my name is Harvey Taylor, and I'm going to talk to you uh, in this brief video about relationships. So, first thing I'd like to say is that I think there are really five key elements to maintaining uh, and developing a, a healthy uh, relationship with another human being. And you can take this in any kind of context you want. So what are you talking about, a, a romantic relationship, or what are you talking about, even a work relationship? I think the same basic principles still apply. Okay, so let's start off with uh, principle number one, which is just this whole notion of relationship. Um, because uh, if you think about it like this, there isn't actually any such thing as a relationship. Uh, you can't put it in a bucket, uh, something I'm very fond of saying. Uh, so what is it? Well, actually, if you turn the relationship back into the process that it describes, it's the process of one human being relating to another human being. So why is that important? Well, simply because once you turn it back into the process of one human being relating to another human being, it means that there are things that you can do differently in order to improve your relationship. As long as it's some kind of like thing out there, um, it's for a lot of people, it's like, there's nothing you can do. My relationship's gone bad. Well, okay, like what? Like an orange that's gone bad? Um, no. It's something that you do, it's something that your partner does. Okay, so that's number one. So let's go on to number two. So element number two really, or principle number two, if you want to call it that, um, is really the idea of flexibility. You see, what happens with a lot of people is that they go into a relationship or they uh, encounter difficulties in their relationship and start thinking in very rigid ways. This has to work. We must sort this out. Um, we've got to stay together or we've got to stay apart. Um, whatever it is, once you start making those kind of uh, demands, once you start thinking in those kind of rigid terms, you're really on a hiding to nothing. So maintaining that flexibility by focusing on what you want uh, encouraging your partner to say what they want as well, um, you're much more likely to be able to sustain that degree of flexibility that really makes for healthy relationships. Okay, so number three then. Uh, number three is about uh, being normal. Now, I don't know if you're normal or not. Uh, all I know is that I'm not normal. Uh, and the reason I know it is because there is no such thing as normal. Actually, the term normal is just the statistical term. It just means what um, the average uh, number of people do, the, the, the majority of people do, if you like, within a given population. Um, but once you start to get bigger and bigger and bigger populations, you go to the population of the, the United Kingdom, for example, there really is no such thing as normal, not in any kind of meaningful sense. Okay, so there might be what's normal for your family. There might be what is normal in terms of the TV programs that you watch. Um, there might be what's normal in terms of the newspaper that you read or in terms of um, the friends that you listen to and the friends that you don't listen to. Um, but uh, actually what's really important is not what's normal, but what works for you and what works for your partner. And I don't mind whether you're thinking about this in the context of sex or whether you're thinking about this in the context of just getting on with each other on a day-to-day -day basis. There is no such thing as normal. It's just what works. Okay, so principle number four then. Um, and in some ways, I think this is the, the most important principle because this is about um, being able to relate to people in the knowledge that you can also survive on your own. And um, this is where boundaries come in. So principle number four is about maintaining healthy boundaries. And by a healthy boundary, I don't mean that it's not good to get completely lost, completely immersed in your relationship from time to time. In fact, it can be a really wonderful thing. I think it's good. Um, but it's not good if that's what you do all of the time because uh, it's useful and healthy, I believe, to sustain some sense of yourself. As long as you know 
and this is just a belief it's not something that you can prove one way or the other as long as you know as long as you believe that you can cope on your own you can be a happy productive resourceful individual on your own you're much more likely to have a healthy relationship with anybody that you want to have a relationship with once you get into that kind of dependency mode that i couldn't cope without her i couldn't live without him um, that's when relationships start to get difficult because people feel swamped uh, and because also you lose your sense of um, who you are and your sense of your own value your own worth okay so principle number five then uh, principle number five um, is really quite simple uh, all I'm going to say to you is experiment and you can take that in any context uh, with regard to relationships you like um, if you find yourself in any situation um, in the way that you relate to another human being and start to notice that there's a pattern that when I do this I get this response and then we end up having a row and this has happened before then you know you're in a pattern and now it's time to do something different to experiment and the more you experiment the more you're going to find ways of relating to each other uh, in, a, in a positive way um, and it's not that you just do this when you start the relationship you're going to need to carry on doing this for the next 50 60 70 years however long you plan on staying together however long you do actually eventually stay together um, for me the most successful, healthy, positive relationships I've ever come across are where both parties recognise that they constantly change, that the relationship, the dynamics are constantly moving. And um, in order to keep up, you've got to keep doing different things. Uh, so just let me summarise them. Um, so five principles for maintaining healthy relationships. Number one is to recognize there is no such thing as a relationship. You can't put it in a bucket. It's about how you relate to each other. It's something that you do, not something that exists out there. Number two is really about flexibility, about recognizing that actually you don't have to do anything. You don't need anything. Nothing has to work. It'd be nice, it'd be good. You might want it to, but that doesn't mean it has to. Number three is there is no such thing as normal. Um, and actually, that's a good thing. You know, I like the fact that there's diversity, that there's variation, that each time you meet your partner, you don't know what's going to happen next. I think that's exciting. That's what keeps it all uh, alive and interesting. Number four is that um, it's really important to keep really healthy boundaries, to maintain some sense of yourself as well as sometimes allowing yourself to become totally immersed in the relationship with the other person. And then number five is it's all an experiment. And the more you experiment, the more fun you can have. watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video if that makes any sense because of course I won't really because I can't see you just because you can see me doesn't mean I can see you I mean that's completely nuts isn't it yeah anyway right see you later bye